Sean Myers here, the Westmoreland Sports Network, joined by the head coach of the Bell Vernon area softball team, Tom Rodriguez, before his team's 4A WPIAL championship contest. And first off, Tom, congratulations on getting back here. I know you have guided the Leopards to championship appearances and championship victories before, but I would imagine it never gets old. What was the feeling like for you and certainly for all the young ladies when you secured that spot in the championship? Um, I, really, I still can't believe, you know, we played them twice this year. I, I, I really, I didn't want to tell my kids this, but I thought no way we could beat them. Uh, after the last time we lost, they 10 run us in five innings and we had one hit. First time we, it was closer, but we only had three hits. They had about 11 hits. And actually they had like 14 hits when they did uh, the 10 run thing. But but the girls, you know, we practiced a bunch of things to try to do different. But I told them we're going to start normal, and then we'll go right into that. If I felt we were going to do a lot of slapping and hard bunting, and and luckily we didn't have to do it, just a couple bunts. And the girls were just, it's amazing, believe me. Well, I know when I talked to you heading into the playoffs, you kind of lamented the fact that the number four seed, you ended up on the same side of the bracket as Elizabeth Forward. And really, at the time, it seemed like you were going to have to go back to square one and how to figure out a way to beat them. Well, I guess one of the recipes was hitting three home runs in the contest. <laughs> I, EF has given up almost no runs all season. How did your hitters have such success? Well, well, they actually only gave up 11 runs all year up until that point, and we scored 10. Uh, the, you know, we watch a lot of video on huddle. In fact, I know Marin Medikosh and another girl told me that she felt they were pitching the same way as last, the same sequence as they pitched against her last time. And they were, she said they were sort of ready for some of those pitches. I know uh, to, to get that offense, obviously, that was the biggest key. But uh, no, kind of maybe overshadowed during your run is that you're getting some really good pitching and defense. Over the last handful of games, you've only given up zero or one run every single time. So it starts with your pitching, and I know Ross has been really good. The defense behind her as well. How has that sort of rounded into form? Uh, you're right. Uh, a couple. I, I got to say, a couple of our games, uh, our section wasn't as strong as it normally is. But still, you're right. In the last three or four games, one, yeah, one run in the, the playoff game. I think Olivia had two zeros. Uh, Tally had one. She only gave up two, uh, maybe one run. So, but, but really between the two, I, I like, they let almost split all year long, you know, back and forth. I, the only time it, if something got changed, I tried to make sure they pitched against whoever they pitched against, like EF first, I pitched against somebody else the, second, the other one the other time. But they're both, they're two sort of little different pitchers besides being a righty and a lefty. Uh, Olivia has throws a little harder, uh, but but uh, Talia has a lot of spin on the ball, and I, sometimes I wonder how it's moving like it is. And I think the left-handers do make a difference. I know when I had Bailey Parshall, that made a difference. Uh, and in my first start, I had a pitcher that was lefty and, and did really well. So, like I say, I don't. I'm not sure. The day the game, I'll decide uh, who's going to start. Uh, at this point, it's it's open. You know, we've got a couple more practices, another scrimmage, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, you mentioned Bailey Parshall and what an incredible run she had at Bell Vernon, leading your team to multiple championships. So you have been on this stage before, but it's going to be new for your players now. What is what is kind of the moment like leading up to that game, especially since you have the early start with a, a noon first pitch? Yeah, you know, I thought... Like, nobody's going to be able to come to the game. You know, you have people working, the kids, I don't know if they're going to let them out of school. Uh, but we're, again, I'm just, we're going to stay focused. So we're going to continue to work on what, what we need to work on. Always have something in the back pocket. Uh, already, I'm getting video from Montour, so have to, you know, it'll be here tomorrow, and I just need to sit down and study it. And Coach Bichetta, she also uh, uh does a lot of work with that. And she actually, I, I, starting last year, I let her call the pitches. Uh, 
she was a pitcher for me. She graduated in 2012. Uh, great kid. Well, you mentioned Montour. The Spartans are a really good team. You've already defeated the number one team in this bracket in EF. Now you're going to have to play the number two seed in Montour. When you look at the Spartans, obviously their their record speaks for itself, but what stands out about them? Uh, I watched uh, them play Shark Earth Valley. You know, they have a couple bigger, stronger kids, a couple home runs they hit. The pitcher is is really good. In fact, in the fall, we just played in a, a, a league, uh, like a tournament type thing. We faced her one time, but we were, we were losing 6-5. And we didn't hadn't seen her, and they brought her in in the last inning, and she K'd all three of my players. So we, I felt, you know, in fact, at the beginning of the year, I ranked her right right behind uh, EF. With that being said, for your perspective, what will be the biggest keys for the Leopards to have success in the championship game? I watch, still need good pitching, you know, not giving up a lot, a lot of hits, and the defense. I mean, uh, defense is critical. You know, I, I – People don't realize, and my kids think when I ask them what's the three most important things in what order, they always put hitting second. And I said, no, that's a defense second, and it's actually not hitting, but timely hitting is the third ingredient, to, you know, to be able to be successful. Lastly, we mentioned you guided championship teams before. When you think of this version, 2023, what is special about this year's team? Um, I thought we would be okay, but I, never in my wildest dreams that I think we'd get to the championship game. I mean, I just felt like EF was too was too tough. Well, uh, certainly your team has uh, exceeded those expectations, and hopefully you can finish it off with a WPIL championship. Tom, thank you so much for doing this, okay. and looking forward to seeing the game against Montour. All right. I'll see you on Wednesday.